So one of the most common questions I get asked is, how should I trim my toenails? The answer is always the same. It depends on the shape of your actual nail. I'm actually gonna do a toenail trimming on my own nails to kind of show you my personal nail and how it should be trimmed. However, some people have a nail that's shaped like a spoon shape, it kind of goes like this. Other people have a flat nail. Some people have it's almost like a scallop nail where the skin actually comes up towards the tip of the nail. And if you trim them too short, it'll immediately cause bleeding. So we definitely want to avoid that. So let me give you a couple tips on how to trim a proper nail so you don't you know, run into any issues with ingrown toenails or anything like that. So the first thing we wanna do is look at the overall shape of your toenail. As you can see, mine here is a little scalloped. And in general, we wanna leave about one millimeter of the white stuff on the tip of the nail. So this actual nail is pretty good in length. However, if you go to its neighbor here, he could use a little bit of trimming. I would consider that just a little too long. So what we do is use an instrument like this, especially if you have big, thick nails. Um, I'm just using this today to show you how to properly use this instrument. In general, though, I could use the normal nippers that you get at an everyday location. Um, this particular nipper you can get from Target, Walmart, anything like that. What I really like about it, if you look at the edge, right here this will help allow to get underneath the nail but please don't be too aggressive with that you can easily get into the nail bed itself and uh, it can cause bleeding so what you're going to want to do is get the edge right underneath again my nails are pretty thin so this is a little difficult but right underneath and just do give it a little clip and you're going to keep going and just follow that line most importantly with this, do not go back like this. If you do that, as you can see, I'm gonna crunch into the nail bed and we're gonna have a lot of bleeding. That's the last thing we want. So again, just a little clip, not too much. And then what I'm gonna do is get a nail file and just smooth the edge down. As you can see, there's a little bit of that white stuff left, so that's pretty good, not too short. If you do get your nails too short, um, that will increase your risk for, of course, bacterial infection, as well as a fungal infection. So that's a no-no. So I'll spare you the time for me to trim all of my nails, but again, just a general idea is to go along the nail line itself, and it just depends on however your nail is shaped. After you have trimmed the edge of your nail and they're at the appropriate length, what we're gonna wanna do is use a curette. I don't know if you can see that little scoop on the end there. Um, you can get this at you know, your local store, Target, Walmart, whatever you want to do. So what you're gonna wanna do is gently take the edge here and then just scoop out and pull out. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have much of anything because as a podiatrist, I try to keep my feet as clean as possible. Again, nothing coming out, but you wanna kinda make a scooping action. So here, again, here's the top of the scoop and you're gonna go down and then scoop it this way and then pull back towards you. I think I see a little something here now. There we go. So you can see just gently, if you injure the nail bed itself, you are going to give yourself a fungal infection. There we go. So that's the last thing you wanna do. I do recommend soaking your feet before you start any of this. That will help soften the nail plate itself. And just pat your, your feet dry and then that's when you wanna get to work. So keep scooping, don't go too crazy. That one looks pretty good to me and I'll move on to the next one. So scoop, scoop, not a lot here. Now with long toenails, especially if they're thicker, you get subungal debris. That's all the gunk that sits underneath this part of your nail. If you put this in and it goes halfway up to your nail, this is dead nail. You wanna clip that, remove that um, dead nail so any topical medication or if you're doing laser or taking medication can get directly into the nail bed itself. If there's just a dead nail sitting there, it serves as a barrier and doesn't really serve much purpose at all. It just allows the fungus to have a party underneath your toenail. So highly recommend trim whatever is dead in any area of any nail.